So, so far we talked about eigenvalues, eigenvectors, we used the two theorems. We're going to work one example. This is the second example for you. This example says, well, suppose you have the following matrix, three by three matrix. You have two, zero, zero, then you have one, two, zero, and then you have zero, zero, two. And you want to find the eigenvalues and eigenvector corresponding to this matrix. So let us follow the theorem and form the characteristic polynomial. There we go. So you need to form the determinant of lambda i minus this matrix. We're using identity matrix of size three minus this matrix two zero zero one two zero 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 two and we set the determinant equal to zero. So let's see the determinant of lambda zero 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 lambda zero 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 and lambda minus two one zero zero two zero 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 two must be equal to perfect. So basically you are finding the determinant of the following matrix, lambda minus two, zero, negative one, zero, and here you have zero, lambda minus two, and then zero, 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 and lambda minus two, and you set this determinant equal to zero. So this is very easy to solve. This is just basically, lambda minus 2 times the determinant of this matrix, which is lambda minus 2 times lambda minus 2, and negative 1 multiplied by the determinant of this matrix, which is basically 0 plus 0 plus 0 equal to 0. So the characteristic polynomial is lambda minus 2 to the third power equal to 0. So you basically have repeated 0. Repeated zero lambda equals to two of degree three. Very good. Now let's find the eigenvector corresponding to lambda equals to two. Eigenvector. To find the eigenvector, you have your lambda multiplied by i two times one zero 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 one zero 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 one minus matrix A, which is two zero zero one two zero 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 two times vector x equal to zero. We're basically solving this equation. So we have two zero 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 two zero 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 two finding the scalar multiplication minus the matrix, original matrix that you have, then vector x, x, y, z equal to 0, 0, and 0. This shouldn't be that difficult for you. Here you have the matrix 2 minus 2, 0, negative 1, 0, and you have 0, 2 minus 2, 0, 0 minus 0, and then you have 0 minus 0. 0 minus 0 and 0 minus 0. Third, multiply by matrix x, y, and z equal to 0, 0, and 0. So basically it says, hey, we have negative y equal to 0, so y is 0. So we can set x equals to t and z equals to s. And the vectors are all of this form. X, Y, Z can be written as T, 0, and S, which is T times 1, 0, 0, plus S times 0, 0, and 1. You have vectors, eigenvectors, associated to lambda equals to 2, written this way. 
we can say that, hey, the dimension of the eigenspace is 2. So these two are linearly independent. Independent. So the dimension of the eigenspace is 2. Of the eigenspace is 2. The rest of the eigenvectors can be written as a linear combination of these two vectors. 